All right, guys, let's get into this this bad this bad ish because this is the last day of SmackDown Two. We're gonna see if Dean Green's gonna ride off in the sunset as champion or failure. Okay, let's watch Dragon Ball Super on Dream. It's Jay, <laughs> second one. <laughs> I love how Jenny's just like it's Jiren or Jiren or Jiren. Obviously, just spelling it. It's the American accent. Well, see, in America, we don't think we have an accent. Y'all are the ones that talk funny. Oh, no mercy. What are we going to do, huh? Oh, cage match against Bubba Ray Dudley. Not even for my title. Hell yeah, I'd love to see it. Fucking right. I love how in this Karimo, the Dudley boys have not only separated, but they've just dominated the singles scene. I also remember, guys, as I am a professional wrestler by trade, uh, you know, when I play wrestling games, that's when we're allowed to talk about wrestling. It's when we can communicate, ask questions, vibe, chit-chat, talk about old wrestling, good wrestling, whatever. Anything that gets everybody all happy and perky. Also, guys, quick shout-out. Me and Yaren. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing Sunday yet, but Saturday... We're doing golf with friends. With friends, the chat can join. We're going to be playing it on Steam, and you can get codes for it for like $7. $7. So please buy and please join us. We can play up to 12 people. Uh, I think we got a couple already, but all, all about it. You're a wrestler? That's so cool. This is my dude, Jillian. Korean Thunder. Hey, guys. Hey, Korean Thunder. Hey, KT. I'm still thinking about the golf game. Oh, Chenny, do it. Do it, Chenny. Join us. Be Neon Bitch 2 on Golf with Friends. And if you need the coach any, like that uh, I found or Yearn found, or Yearn found and send it to me, I'll send it to you if need be, because it, it gets you the Steam code for like seven bucks. My spot is reversed. What does that mean? Oh, reserved. My spot is reserved. I thought I don't know why I was read reversed. I'm not wearing my glasses. I'm also not the brightest. AJ, can you read? No, I can't. Obviously. <laughs> Yearn says you are dyslexic as fuck. Man, AJ. <laughs> yeah, no, I just, don't worry, I corrected it. I, I realized. Maybe I am. Well, I'm a pretty decent reader. I'm a pretty fast reader, too. But I hit some golf balls in real life yesterday. Oh, how's that? That sounds hella relaxing. That sounds like so much fun. Still got it. <laughs> just fucking big old Ernie S on the golf course. Smack those sons of bitches like... Uh, Happy Gilmore. Hi, he's AJ. I'm 19, and he never fucking learned how to. I'm nine. I'm not 19. You leave me be. Hi, he's AJ. I'm 19, and he never fucking learned. How to... <laughs> That's funny. Oh, this is bullshit. I'm a goddamn World Wrestling Federation champion. You're gonna put me in a goddamn handicap. Hand oh god I can't even speak today. Handicap match, Shane O'Mac? Piece of shit. Yield birdie and bogey over the whole place. My best score for nine holes and even par thirty six that I fucked up because I have fucking brain damage. Oh Chenny, you know, I got brain damage. Ha, ah, that's funny, doesn't get it. I was gonna say. AJ is the only millennial in the world that doesn't know Vine references. That's true. That's hundred percent. Hundred percent. Never had Vine, never looked at Vine. Don't get it. I just thought what she said was funny. I didn't realize it was a Vine reference. I'm allowed to find things amusing. Oh, I'm ready for this handicap match. Big old Bubba and Shane O'Mac versus me. Love it. See, it's part of the reason that I'm leaving the company after this uh, after this season, after this, after this go-around, because I've just been mistreated and mistreated. Even when I became WWF champion, they still don't want me. Just take my bag and go home. AJ just put me on such a deeply personal level. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, hi, Kim. I just don't. Vine's not my thing. And it was like there and then gone. And I never paid attention to it. Just, I'm sorry, guys. If you send me some Vine compilations, maybe I'll watch it. But I was too busy, like, 
I don't even know when Vine was around for, so I don't even know what I was doing, to be honest. AJ got big sales, but the breeze ain't blowing, you know? <laughs> that's, 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 that's a pretty funny way of putting that. I kind of I enjoyed that. Oh, shame it, man, you son of a bitch. When AJ comes back to Germany, I'm going to kill him and carve vine into his chest. You're in Jesus Christ. My Lord. <laughs> Jenny says you're in did it for the vine. Club Penguin ruined vines were the best. Oh, that does sound, that does sound good. Club Penguin, that was a thing. I do know about that. But it being ruined sounds amazing. Yuren says I do everything for the vine. Dream Daddy, fuck it up. Yuren, fuck it up. R.I.P. AJ. He's not going to carve shit into my chest. I don't know where to play. It's been two, three weeks since we last played this, guys, right? Take a little break, ski. Oh, I just said ski. I hate myself. Oh, I'm doing okay. Just dropping people in their heads. No biggie. Just throwing clotheslines. Duck one. Oh, step over. Oh, take it. Oh, that's the thing about the 90s. All these off-the-rope spots. Everybody's just relying on them. All their spots are like, whip. I'll whip you. And then... So lame. I think my dog just broke something upstairs. That little dipshit. Oh. Trying to get these bitch tosses in. Get it, get it, get it. Go, oh shit. Shit, man, throwing those jabber dabbers. What did I mean to say there? I'm just throwing out vowels in the middle of words. That's right, punch him in the fucking head. Oh, big boss man slam. RIP, big old Ray Trailer. Oh, just hit him in the back of the head. Super unsafe. Oh. Trying to get some bitch tosses to clear this ring out a little bit. Oh. Oh, someone touched him. Man, the suplex. No, no, no. Bitch toss. Fuck. Right, now I'm getting my ass whooped. There we go. Here's one bitch toss. Gonna fucking mock me. Little fucking hoochie. Oh. Let's put this bitch to sleep. Oh. Trying for a high risk maneuver. Oh, classic. Good old body slam. Oh, no. Just threw his dick in my face. Oh. Hit his own partner. What a dummy. So happens to just throw your dick around, Shane. Bitch toss. No, oh, damn it. No. Not gonna pin me in. Didn't even get a wuh. Not even remotely getting that count. That's right. Classic shoulders. No, oh, get back out of there. Get the fuck out. Oh. Try to pull some shit on me. Oh no. Close. Oh, I missed. Oh, missed. What? I didn't think Shane was that athletic. Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. Thanks, Bubba. Classic mis miscommunication. When you accidentally pick your partner up for a body slam and just fuck their day up. You don't put them down or anything. You just got to commit. Hope for the best. Hope they're not too mad at you. Shane, don't fuck this up. And then back for you. Oh, damn it. Stop with those belly to bellies, you bastard. Yeah, just fucking pounced you. <laughs> Get out of the way. 
Oh, damn it. The lame grapple. Oh, gee, hey. DQ. He's fucking hit me in my no-no place. It's not okay. Take this, you bastard. Just plant you. Give you some of those classic shoulders. Touch me in my no-no place one more fucking time. Oh, still couldn't get a cover. Not even whoa. Oh. oh, my finish is up again. Cool, I'll hit Shane with it again. Hopefully get the knockout. Oh, kicked me with his fucking loafers. Oh, big old butt bomb. I'm trying to hit you that... Oh, no, no, no. Clothesline. Pick him up. Damn it. Bubba, get the fuck out of here. Nobody wants to play with you. Ha, uh, you knocked out your you knocked out your buddy. Oh shit. Hit Shane. Give you the big boot. I want Shane to eat shit. There we go. Knockout, right? Damn it. Oh fuck. Are knockouts on in this? They should be. In a handicap match, right? I don't know what he's trying to do. Going fucked up. Oh, get that fuck off me. No! Oh, oh I was going to be pissed. Shit. Come on. I'm not going to get treated like this. Stop with the dick shots. Shane O'Mac. You're an executive of this company. It's not appropriate. All right? Stop touching me in my no-no place. And then dancing? That's just... Oh, ooh, then knock me the fuck out. Eat shit, Shaney. Oh, Backdrop driver. That's right, gonna drop you real uncomfortable in the back of your head. That's right, do something stupid, Shane. Oh, no. 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 He gets the knockout. Fucking bullshit. That is bullshit. If you don't accidentally punch your tag partner right in the face at least once, you're, you're, are you even a team? Yeah, believe it or not, it makes you more of a team if you don't do that. I don't believe that. Maybe it's the fact that I'm also dyslexic, but AJ's even... But is AJ even speaking English? No, I'm not. I, like, I notice my speech is really fucked up at the moment. I can't explain it. I cringe every time I hear no, no place. Ditto. Just call it your vagina, AJ. No, don't touch me there. This is my no-no square, says Jenny. Show us on the doll where he touched you. Was it a no-no place? Haley, AJ Scooter was the real star of that match. <laughs> now they're all talking backstage. They're like, did you see when I hit AJ in the fucking cooter? When I gave him that cooch punch? Got my fucking bicep right all up in there in his grundle. That cooter was a real shooter, says Yearn. That was a bullshit way to start this. This is why Dean Green's leaving, right? Stiff doesn't turn around. He's getting the fuck out of here. Vagina's so tight it becomes a dick guillotine. Oh my god, Jenny. Cooter scooter, says Jenny. Oh, was I even booked? I didn't even see. Better be at the top of the card. Oh, great, not even booked. I'm only the world champion. Whatever, I deserve the night off. After being harassed. Sip of this monster. Ah, love it. Remember, guys, for those who don't know, we don't really talk wrestling on any of the other streams, but if I'm playing wrestling games, it's fully allowed. Although it seems like so far people just want to talk about Dean Green's grundle and or vaginas. So it is what it is. I'm not going not gonna to tell you not to unless it makes somebody uncomfortable. But tell you what, the reason Dean Green's off this week is because he's taking it up with uh, WWF management about all those wiener shots. And Jenny says, where are all the dudes from your own stream now, huh? <laughs> oh, Steve Blyman versus Vincent Mann. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, a little TNA never hurt. Hell yeah. Go, boys. Oh, man. What a show stealer this is. Bradshaw versus Visser in a hardcore match. <laughs> Why did Julian says you just and switch play play fire pro together so only ones talking wrestling are playing it by themselves. Fair enough. Oh, Shawn Michaels versus the one Billy Gunn. Oh, Heartbreak Kid versus the Ass Man. Ba Battle of the Sexy Boys. Well, that's bullshit. How that happen? That's just not right. Kane versus Bubba Ray. Oh, Kane fucking sets Bubba Ray's dick on fire. Fuck yeah. Thanks, Mayor Glenn. Sam Barber. Hey, Sam. Billy Gunn is the goat. <laughs> All right. Fuck yeah. Hey, Sam. Yaren says, I don't even know how many times I've seen Suzuki's name in my stream and is subconsciously making me hate the man. <laughs> it's, what a man to hate. Am I booked? Again, not booked. Oh, thank you for the bits. Sheen with the bits. Work lurking at 2.30 a.m. Because sleep is for sane, normal people. Word. And losers. I never sleep. Actually, I slept in today. Didn't even mean to. I was just so tired. You're right back changing my Twitch name to Suzuki, says Jenny. Oh. What's up, Trish? How you doing? See Trish right there? That was my childhood. Oh, shit. What was that? Shout out to AJ for always being a hell of a human being in this lovely community. You all are awesome. I believe. Uh, you're here and says shout out to Trish. I believe that was Korean Thunder. I just have to double check. It was. Thank you so much. What? Whoa! What the? F gee, Korean Thunder. Oh my lord! Th thank you so much. That was so insanely generous. Generish. Oh my god, I still can't speak fucking English. Oh my word. Oh. Okay, Generish says Dreamy Daddy. KT, I don't even know what to say. That I think that's the second time you've done that in the past couple months. Thank you so so much. Uh, I I so appreciate that. I'm I'm baffled. Like thank you. That was insane. Like I hope I uh can't read, can't speak, and this man is still making hell of <laughs> Jenny, shut up. Do you did you put an extra zero on accidents, Sally? That's what I was thinking. Uh, KT, thank you so, so much for your uh, support. I uh, really, really appreciate that. That was insanely generous or generous. Uh, if there's anything I can do to, like, make, like, again, you are one of us, our longest supporters. Uh, you're, why can't I speak today? It's all the monster. It must be. It must be all the monster. You are one of our longest supporters. If there's anything we can do or anything you'd like to see on the channel, uh, please let us know. Because, in fact, I'm going to send you a message on Twitter later. Because uh, you've been fucking insanely generous. And I thank you so, so much for that. You've always you've been a very positive influence and individual within the chat when you're able to join. So I've got some subscriber things coming up. We're going to be doing XCOM, XCOM 2 again either next week or the week after and continuing our storyline from there with the subscribers being the ones playing. Uh, like Dragon suggested, we're going to do a Minecraft server. Uh, server, what is wrong with me? Uh, but if there's anything that you would like to see, like, please let me know. I'll message you later. Uh, because you, you're the fucking man. I really appreciate that. Because, again, I, I don't ask for that. You don't have to do that. No one has to. But the fact that you went out of your way to do that is, is wonderful. AJ would, wouldn't mind you being lost for words. <laughs> now is the time. <laughs> okay, much appreciate AJ. KT is the man. Man, AJ being speechless. Love to see it. <laughs> Oh, I just muted him. <laughs> Thanks, Julian. You guys are all jerks. Okay, I'm having a speech problem today. Leave me be. Don't make fun of people that 
have an impediment. Even though I don't, I'm just scatterbrained today somehow. But KT, thank you so much. We will make sure. I hope that we live up, this channel lives up to that generosity or provides you equal entertainment to that generosity. If not, let us know how we can do so. <laughs> Yearn says you don't have an impediment. You're just dumb, dude. It's true. It's 10 out of 10 agree. I also just dropped a chip. Chase says sick burn. It's not a burn. It's just the truth. <laughs> Here it just fucking boomed him so hard. Hell yeah, go me. I'm not even booked. Hey, Brinkley. You better put that money away for a good PC, my dude. I agree with the statements made by your and Shep, Julian. That is, that is in the works. It's certainly in the works. I'm going to get one similar to as Kelly has, so I can stream through that while running the games on the my regular PC, because my regular PC is super good for gaming until you ask it to do anything else. But also... Working on something to get Kelly here, or possibly see Kelly for at least a couple weeks, uh, since it looks like we're going to be separated for an indefinite period of time. So that's also in the works as well. You don't have an impediment. <laughs> Chino says, Marky Gamer out here quoting every teacher I ever had. <laughs> oh my. Jimmy Dad says, PC's greater than Kelly, though. <laughs> I knew that was your point, Kim. I know. You're an ew yuck. Imagine wanting to see people. You, why do Julian says we play for we pay for gameplay, not Kelly? Oh my. <laughs> I love you. Ew. Imagine wanting to see people. Jenny says ew. Imagine spending money to see people. Ew. <sighs> Yaren says right. You'll understand one day, Yarn. If not, cool, because I love you just the way you are, and I'm not sure if a woman being in your life would change that. I don't want you. Don't you ever go changing. Okay, Wesley says, oof. AJ, play the new Mario that drops tomorrow. There's a new, Oh, the new Paper Mario. I didn't know that that was coming out. Uh... Imagine people, says Haley. Nothing is real. Oh my. Oh. Oh god. Deep. That was deep. Let's see if I'm booked from out because of fucking shots to the no no space. Booked against Val Venus? I'm the WWF champion. I'm going to wrestle the former porn star? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, Ivory. Come on, Ivory. Come on. Uh, even though I haven't been on every stream live, following this career mode has been fucking ace. Oh, thank you, Brinkley. Marky Gamer says, shout out to both Lita and Ivory. Chase says, imagine dragons. <laughs> Stop saying no, no space. Oh my god. Fine. Gooch. Grundle. Crotchular region. Oh, I guess he's still the porn star in this one. Oh, me and Bobcore coming down. Gonna put a hurting on him. <laughs> Lumberjew says Dean Green, a two sport legend. Goddamn right. What's wrong with porn stars? Stop disrespecting sex workers. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying that uh, I'm the WWF champion. I should be wrestling like the top tier wrestlers. Not. You know, I can't defend it. Yeah, I said what I said. I have nothing against porn stars at all. No way, no how. It's Dean Green's opinion. He just doesn't want to wrestle him. Don't know why. Maybe he's intimidated. Marky Gamer, I think porn stars would have a good natural affinity for wrestling. Not wrong. I'm not going to mention who said this, but someone says, AJ disrespecting sex workers when he looks like Johnny Sins. Shake my head. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you Julian says Valvinus got ladies 
Dean Green just got a nerdy wrestling belt. <laughs> Jenny says, wait, wrestling isn't porn? Apparently not. I could see the confusion. Bull Buchanan reminds me of a gym coach who could have had a successful athletic career but injured himself somewhere down the road. Jesus, Jenny says, better put my dick away then. Oh my. Oh shit, I'm wrestling. Wait. Why am I fighting Kurt Angle? I was not paying attention to the storyline. I'll gladly wrestle Kurt Angle. Man, is my next feud with Kurt Angle? I'm for that. Oh my god, can you imagine Dean Green versus Kurt Angle? The matches? You know, in real life, between my fictitious character and this Olympic gold medalist. Oh, damn it. Oh, guys, just so you know, when I come back, I'm going to start yeeting people at the Olympic Slam. Uh, it's going to be one of my new go-tos, so watch out for that. Because I'm going to fucking toss bitches. Yes, in a fight, Dean Green puts in a submission. Fucking ace. I'll eat shit. Ugh. Cool, I won. Bye. See ya. See ya, America boy. Apparently that's what Hogan used to call Angle when he came back for his SmackDown run in like 2003 or so. Like he didn't really, he, he wouldn't say Kurt's name, he just kept referring to him as America boy. Uh, AJ vs. Kurt Angle, though, would love to see that. Hell yeah, I would be down for that. Um, I think that's Kirk Angel. <laughs> Kirk Angel! <laughs> Brinkley, dude, my entire world would malfunction if you wrestled Kurt Angle. It's cuck angle, says YG Julian. Quirk ankle, says Jenny. Go off, guys. Keep going off on his name. I would love... I mean, Kurt Angles was, uh, was one of my absolute favorites. Uh, past couple weeks, when I was really, really motivated for coming back and stuff. Still am, but over the past couple weeks, I've been watching so many Kurt Angle matches. And he's just so good. So good. On so many different levels. Uh, Luna the Hellhound corrected me. It was 2002. Thank you, Luna. Imagine watching wrestling. It's at the past couple weeks it hasn't happened, but like a month ago I was watching it real consistently, just getting motivated, different ideas, different things to incorporate when I come back and stuff like that. And then you know, wrestling went to hell, and it's kind of like, ah. Uh, so I haven't watched it in a couple weeks. Yeah, honestly, how do people have energy or attention span to watch wrestling anymore? Brinkley Kirk Angel Angel has the greatest theme in five star wrestling returns. I don't own the game, but it's bizarre. <laughs> Those games are fucking insane with the stuff they get away with. Oh, big time Joni Law Law Lawler? Lawyer? Law Lauer? How do you pronounce her last name? Oh, big time China Joni coming in calling her shots. <laughs> Marky Gamer says, God damn China looking good. Watching old wrestling shows but not finishing Dragon Ball Super. How do you all have the energy to do anything? It literally goes, America, done, done, America, on a loop. Oh, man. That sounds great. All right, let's, let's fight this porn star. Let's give him the old dick twist. Oh, good old Bobcore. One of the greatest people we've ever had in the WXW locker room. You already can attest for that. That was a hell of a good time. Oh, fuck. Shit. Oh, he's got Trish with him? Oh, extra motivation. Bob Core Hard Holly says Chino. Haley says twist his dick. Got to go. Have a good day, guys. Bye, KT. Thank you so much again. Have a good rest of your day. Glad you were able to stop by. Brinkley says, still Blackman theme. Yeah, Kim, you, you've been, uh, I know you've been down and stuff, but you've been doing your very, very best, and that's all anyone in the world can ask of you. So I'm proud of you, and I know other people are proud of you. So you just keep that chin up, and you keep on fighting and and keep doing what you're doing, because you're doing great. Hit that motherfucker. Ah, oh, there we go. Just avoid me. 
Gonna give him the old dick twist. Twist his dick? Oh, shit. Give me old German. Old German souffle. Alright, what was that old commentator? Legendary commentator. Did some of those first Ric Flair Dusty matches. Oh, man. Not Gary Michael Capetta. Definitely not him. Uh, fuck, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. You guys wouldn't know him anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. I could name anybody. Old Dick McGuckin is what his name was. Greatest commentator of all time, old Dick McGuckin. Here he is going uh, for the Dick twist, uh, reversing into a German souffle, uh, trying to get into a lower position so that he can get full five fingers around both testicles. So you don't want four on one, you don't want three on two, you want five on two. That is the, that is the prominent, prominent position for setting up the Dick twist here in the NWA National Wrestling Alliance. Wait, what? Sweet Mongo bump by Val <laughs> says Yearn. Uh, all right, AJ. Oh, don't all right, man. I think you're doing great. I know stuff has been hard. I know stuff has been tough, but you're pushing and you're doing what you can. I'm proud of you, and many other people are as well. So you keep going. You know what sucks about AJ streaming wrestling games? No. What creamy dreamy daddy? Yeah. What? What? AJ marking out about wrestling. Shit, then don't watch dreamy daddy. Shut the fuck up. Uh, can we cut the creamy out? Oh my god, ew. It's not my fault you lost your love for a dreamy daddy. Went to go be a successful college boy with your good looks and charm. Pfft. Get out of here. Just threw that porn star out of the ring. Get out of here. I don't get pissy. It's just they should know it. Not, and not all of it. I don't expect them to have the extensive knowledge that I do. Like, But you should know the history of it to an extent. Or else, what the fuck are you even doing here? That goes for any career. Brinkley subscribe. Oh, Brinkley, thank you so much for the subscription. Appreciate that. That is their eighth month, it looks like. Yeah, eight months. Hell yeah, Brinks. Oh, Trish, why are you doing this to me, girl? Trish, come on. Why you gotta be like that? Sorry, I got my finish up. I'm gonna... Fuck your porn star boyfriend up. Oh, missed him. Missed him, missed him. Now I gotta kiss him. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there we go. Big old clothesline. Now die. Alright, well, we'll get the pin. This bitch. Oh, what the fuck happened there? I don't, I don't know how I got up first from that. Oh, boot me. Oh. It's like a big giant baba clothesline. Oh. Oh, kick. Throw him out of the ring. Oh, Bob Corp coming to help me out. Take him, Bob Corp. I'll look at the chat. <laughs> oh, thank you, Mackie, for checking in. No worries. It is what it is. Just glad you showed up to begin with. Thank you. <laughs> Jenny, what the fuck is going on? Market Gamer, Val Venus should hit a spine buster. Damn, lit. Tell me more about it. <laughs> I love that you're just doing the commentary for Jenny. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Dreamy Daddy, this match looks like when you call 30 This game looks like when you call a 30 minute match but only have five. Oh boy, I'm surrounded by that. Now that I'm home. I don't really advertise this too much, but I take charge of a wrestling school. The one that I start at, I'm now, like, I guess, I volunteer to do it, and I don't want to be named one of their trainers or anything, but on Fridays I hold, like, like private classes for the guys that want to come in and outside workers that want to come in. You know, like, I, I have, like, keys to the school and stuff. And the company that I started at and that school in general is the epitome of guys starting out 
planning 30 minutes worth and trying to put it into five matches, five minutes. And uh, breaking people of that habit can be hard. But, oh, damn, he's got his fucking finish up. Luckily, he has to go to the top rope for it. So, am I going to lose to Valvuski? I'm going to talk shit about this porn star, and he's going to fucking give me the old one, too? Oh, kicked me in the face. Big boot. Oh, no. Nice shoulder tackle, Val. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, uh, stop, stop. Damn it. Oh, nice fisherman buster. No. Oh, someone just hit a finish on the outside. Oh, Bob Core just hit his finish on Trish. What a dickhead. Glad I caught that moment, but like, leave homegirl alone. Oh, body slam. Classic. Yep. Get a little power bomb. Ugh! There we go. Now that I've possibly ended his career. Oh, just punch him in the face. Okay, that's what I meant to do. True that. Follow up with a sweet body slam. And then just knock him out. Boom. Did it. It's first 10 minutes of urine trying to explain something in sentences that all end on you know. And then it's just giving up and yelling. It's like I've been there and lived it. Yeah, exactly, Creamy Daddy. People should just know right away what I mean. <laughs> no. So here's the thing. I've seen urine like, run a seminar and urine try to help and teach people. And Dr Dreamy Daddy is, is right on point with how it goes. But urine does, like, he tries his hardest. And he, he does keep his composure for the first 10 minutes. But if someone just doesn't get it, he does get pissed. But he does, urine does a good job. Like, especially if someone's there to, like, keep him calm and, like, help explain, like, explain it in a different way. Because sometimes, because you can explain something one way and it's right and most people understand it. I'll understand it, Dreamy Daddy, I'll understand it, whoever else. But not everybody understands stuff right off the bat. Sometimes they need something explained to them a very specific way. That's not your strong suit. That's sometimes funny to watch. But Yearn does a great job, I think. You are lying, AJ. <laughs> he is not meant for it. I agree with you, says Jaren. I'm not saying he's meant to be a teacher. He's definitely not. Teaching is not his strong suit. But he is very helpful. And if someone can understand the way he portrays a message, they will get it. But Jaren doesn't have that detail of explaining it in different ways. But I think I think Jaren is an asset to every locker room he's in. <laughs> Chino says, you run ropes like old people fuck. You know that private pile? <laughs> Let's go. Not booked? No. Oh. oh, me and Vince McMahon, show opener. Of course. Why wouldn't be? But this is my chance to get my hands on that son of a bitch. Wait. Oh, no, I didn't mean to skip. It's my chance to get my hands on that son of a bitch who's been making this whole... Whole two year run, horrible. I just show people how to do it honestly. I think they should just know what to do everything right away like that. That's what works for me, goddammit. <laughs> That's how it works for me, goddammit. Dreamy Daddy says he sucks at straight up teaching people, but he's good for discussing logic. No, 100% with Dreamy Daddy. Chino says, uh, I was saying that Coach AJ seems like a man who'd go full metal jacket during practice. Nah, not me. I get frustrated every once in a while, and every once in a while I have to raise my voice, but that's not if people aren't doing things correctly or doing things wrong. It's if they're being reckless or if they're just not paying attention and goofing off. Then, then I'll yell, but I'm not, I, I, don't, I don't go like that on people. That's not, how you, that's not how you teach people. Get me to that son of a bitch. Get me to that son of a bitch, says Brinkley. Ch 
Chases, imagine getting yelled at. <laughs> Aaron says, I'll go full metal jacket on a motherfucker. I don't care. I've seen him do it. There's a dude that was having trouble doing get ups. And he just kept going every which way and landing in the wrong position. And Yurin tried to explain it several times. And again, he, Yurin will explain things the one way. And he just kept doing it wrong. So then Yurin just went off on this dude. This dude was like, oh. And then I was like, what he means is this at this. And he got it a little better, but he still somehow didn't have it. And then Yurin was just like, fuck. <laughs> like, it was pretty funny, to be honest. He never yelled at me, and I'm generally happy about that. I'm never going to yell at you. Yelling doesn't teach people. If you're in class and you're just generally disrespecting me by goofing off or you're putting other people's lives at risk, I will yell at you. I will single you out uh, because it's just not acceptable. But if you're trying your hardest and things are just coming to you and you're just having trouble, or not coming to you and you're having trouble, there's no reason to yell. That's not how people learn. But the, the greatest compliment Walter ever gave me was he, say, he said that as a trainer, I have the ability to pick out the little things people are doing wrong and find a way to teach it to them that they'll get it slowly but surely if not or immediately and so like I don't find a reason to yell it's just about figuring out how to explain something to someone that best suits their ability to learn it and that can be a frustrating process but it's you just got to give it time that's part of being a coach there's no reason to yell at someone unless you know there's no reason to yell at someone for learning there's only a reason to yell at someone if they're maybe not taking it seriously, not giving it the proper attempt, wasting my time, or possibly putting someone else's life at risk. And I've seen someone put other people's health and life at risk um, in training, and then I have gotten angry and I have explained the situation and, you know, my, my uh, elevated voice was completely justified. What did it say? <laughs> okay, Kim, like, it's just a freak thing that happened. That's going to happen sometimes. But ever since then, you've been doing really well, so. Oh, shit, Vincent, man, with the moves. Dreamy Daddy, no, but I don't think she's gonna want to explain the story. Sometimes she's she's not she's not often one to want to talk about it. But I don't know, maybe she will. It's up to her. Hardcore Holly, come beat up the boss. <laughs> Jenny says, AJ straight up stole Kim's spine so he could finally have one. <laughs> it was like fucking Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat. I just grabbed her by the throat and just fucking ripped it out head first. 100% what happened. Oh, I almost did a sweet double team. Are you trying to pin him? He's not in the match, Vinny Mac. Known the rules to your own sport. Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry, Bob. Oh, look at this sweet maneuver. Jenny just called me a spineless bastard. Man. Uh, young Money Holly's been here an awful long time. Oh, here comes Steph. Beat up his daughter. Beat up his daughter. Oh, shit. She's going to get all sassy with me and beat up on me. Oh, she's already looking at Bob, of course. She wants a piece of that. Watch out, Bob. Trips is watching. Especially this era, Trips. Just straight cock diesel. Looking like money. Oh, put those loafers in my face. I love how, at this time, even then, Vince McMahon is in incredibly good shape, but he just, like, looks like a sack of shit for the video game. Aaron Simmons says, wish Stephanie would beat the fuck out of me. <laughs> Man, I love it. Oh, just knocked out the chairman. There goes my job. 
Bob Corr once simped for me, and that was kind of nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Was that at that seminar he did? Me and Yuren had a hell of a lot of fun with Bob Corr in uh, the WXW locker room. He was the man. You hit him so hard that you turned Vince into Rod McMahon real quick. Jenny makes a good point. Chino, I feel that dude. Just know that it's totally okay for everyone to show emotions and it only has benefits for you and people around you. Fuck yeah, Jenny. Fuck yeah. Uh, Chino says, wasn't Bob Corden source for being stiff guy, or was that just one of the internet rumors? I mean, he was kind of in charge of being, like, the tough guy of the locker room, and that's the perception they put out there as the gimmick, and as, like, supposedly Vince wanting him to, like, keep people in line backstage, or make sure people don't get too right, something like that. But, like, he was never overly stiff or reckless, he was always safe, and, like, and working with him and around him and stuff, never heard anyone have a single complaint. He's, a, he's actually a super nice guy. Jenny says emotions. I turn those off in the settings. Nice. Oh, look at Jenny being the support system in the chat. Love to see it. There, there you go, Jenny. Oh, Kim Wrestling. Shout out to Haley and Haley Oli. Haley showing back up. Wait. Oh, thank you, Kim. <laughs> Yaren says, I always try to talk to Dreamy Daddy about my emotions, but it always ends up in me talking about how handsome he is, right? It's just so hard to talk to that young man because you're like, you get lost in his eyes. It's, it's disgusting. It's crippling, even. Oh, what's up, Mick? We boys. Even though that one time I had to fight you and then your double gamer your double ganger came out to help me or you don't think it'd be that way but it do it'd be that way I always liked Harko Holly when I was younger but I can definitely remember any of his matches other than Brock ones and I don't know why because I know how much of a badass he was in WWF I mean he just he wasn't put in prominent featured spots, so like, you, it's hard to think of matches of him to go back and watch that aren't him versus Brock, or maybe like him and Cody Rhodes as a tag team, right? Because that's what that was a thing for a while. Dreamy Daddy says, "I always try to get better at receiving compliments by talking about my feelings, but then you ends up giving an, me endless compliments, so I'm right back at the start." <laughs> True words never spoken, Dream Daddy. Must be hard being you, being that beautiful. <laughs> Jay says, can you two just finally kiss it out? Jeez, the sexual tension here is shake my head. Oh, the sexual tension in here. Oh yeah, him versus RVD. And that was a really good match. Like, it was a hell of a match. And then he just got cut open... Uh, by going through a table like a freak thing that was a really good match until they, ended, they had to end it for that because I think they called it early because it was such a big ass gash oh yeah McFoley beat the fuck out of X-Pac
Where's my water? Oh, big old battle royal. Oh, look at that battle royal. One of these is not like the other. Gino says, so if you're in AJ Dream, Danny and Kelly are stuck in a room together, does that make that the fourth wheel? Kim says 100%. I agree 100%. Oh, yearn. Rude. That's fine. I don't be there with you two anyway. You guys, you guys, you guys have your love. You guys be together. See how it is. Ooh, Survivor Series. Oh, me versus the Cold Stone for the WWF title. All right. All right. First time matchup. Big old Stone Cold versus big old Dean Green. Man, let's get after it. Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe you repeat what Jenny was saying, but it's great. Yearn says AJ and Kelly can watch from the closet. Deal. Why not? Get it, Coldstone? <laughs> Dean Green finna get his name on an ice cream flavor. Hell yeah, Chino. Let's go, uh, I guess Lita. Okay, this is a show picture of Kane walking, that's cool. Dreamy Daddy using those emotes. I love that. That was clever. <laughs> yeah, shut up. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, look how cool Undertaker was there with his bandana and his motorcycle. Man, he was 100% American badass. No doubt. Definitely not going through a midlife crisis or anything. Nah, man. Not at all. Got your wife's name on your neck. Just running around in denim and black trench coats. What is this bullshit? Kane doesn't talk. Kane doesn't spec. Oh, it looks like he's saying something very definitive, though. Man, Kane likes to use a lot of fucking body language when he speaks, apparently. Let's get this semi. I can't believe Dean Green and Stone Cold are the semi main event. That's some bullshit. I never knew people didn't like Biker Taker until April this year. I always loved Biker Taker. I did too because that was my first Taker. Oh, what's up, Trish? How you doing? Uh, that was my first Taker. But then once I like learned of the Dead Man Undertaker and he went back to that, I was like, no, nah, Biker Taker can get in the bin. Dead Man's where it's at. Oh, look at that denim jacket. Oh, denim. Oh man, he's wearing a Canadian tuxedo. Man, look at him go. Official Amy Saint gifted tier one sub to the community. Oh my god, Official Amy Saint, thank you. Gifted it to the Talking Truth. Thanks, Official Amy Saint. Welcome. Glad you're here. Thank you so much. <laughs> you're just called Taker and Try Hard, and I'm. That's hilarious. Ah, oh, casket match for the Intercontinental title. What's Kane going to get into? It's Kane. Oh, man, he's cutting a sick promo. Because that's what the Big Red Machine does. Talks mad shit. Oh, 
<laughs> the Undertaker made an appearance this time. <laughs> what a what a weird way to phrase that. All right. Well, if they're maining the main eventing the show, I'm, that's fine then. Me and Stone Cold will be semi. Paul Bear wasn't around for Biker Taker, was he? No, 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 he wasn't. Your your says Kevin Nash is so fucking cool, dude. Hell yeah, he is. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Man, match of the century. This could easily be a main event at WrestleMania. And you're getting right here at Survivor Series. Semi-main. Just just a raging semi right now. <laughs> Brinkley. The Undertaker made an appearance this time. WB in March 2011 to March 2020. Oh, shit. Here's that sweet music. Oh, oh, over the shoulder with a belt. Like just a nonchalant badass. Jenny says, you want to see my raging semi? <laughs> oh, there he comes. They definitely put the most work in his entrance. It's the ringmaster, says Y2 Julian. Aaron <laughs> says Undertaker would have been so much cooler if instead of a dead man he was a dinosaur. Oh my god. Oh shit, missed. Oh, get out of here. Can't, be, can't let him catch me slipping. Oh, no. Oh, oh. We're going to battle on the outside a little bit, like the beginning of every WWF title match in the 90, late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, what if I just beat good old Cold Stone here on a count out? I'll piss people off, you know. But, you know, build for a nice, nice rematch later on, you know, that long money. My money long. Oh. I'm just gonna keep running like a jackass. Oh, sweet roll out of the corner. Oh, god damn it. Pretty sure, like, Stone Cold's like the best character in the game, so this is gonna be a little difficult. Oh, sweet grapple, bro. Meet that big boot. And we'll go by slam. Oh, oh, armbar. Armbar. Shooting on him. Oh, bitch toss. Look at old Rouse. Oh, Thez Press. Classic Stone Cold. Classic Stone Cold is straight mountain of bruh. Oh, get up. Get up. Stone Cold's whooping my ass. I need to regroup. Oh, thanks, Bob Carr. Help me out. How about your boy? Oh, shit, he's coming out here. Get back in there with Bob Carr. Oh, he threw me in. Get him, Bobby. Oh, no. I got distracted. Shut up, Dreamy Daddy. There you go, my nerves. Beautiful bastard. Miss the clothesline. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck. He's gonna hit me with that stunner. I'm gonna be fucked. Oh, what the f 
Man, Stone Cold Steve Austin just straight jobbed out Dean Green. Didn't even have to hit the stunner. Straight jobbed him out. Like I, I, I what? Like I did poorly. I was way too distracted. God damn. <laughs> Urine says, damn job. That's old Steve within three minutes. That was quick. There better be a rematch coming. I still should be number two, but the way this game gives out fucking title shots, it'll be forever. God damn. That was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. Oh, Undertaker beat up his baby brother. Cool for them. Let's see. Make sure I'm still number one contender. <laughs> Here, slip a little banana peel. Roll you up, kid. Okay. <laughs> I'm still number two. So, I just got to keep that top, that number two spot. Only way to get out of it is for someone to beat me for it. So, Dean Green ain't, ain't rolling out on his last day like no bitch. Uh-uh. Oh. Also, the Royal Rumble's coming up soon. So, maybe I can win that. Oh, I don't want to be in some stupid triple threat. I'm only concerned about those big money matches. There's a reason they call taking a shit number two, says Jenny. God damn. I'm just everybody turning on Dean Green after a loss. Like there's no shame in losing a Stone Cold Steve Austin. I mean, three minutes is a little quick, but even though Stone Cold was the guy who has never been on a PlayStation 2 wrestling game cover, he has only been on the cover of Three PlayStation games, Warzone, TK16, and WWE Attitude. I don't know why, but it's so weird to me. That is a weird fun fact. But also, like... Hmm. Yeah. I was trying to think of a reason for that, because, like... He retired at 19, technically. So what year would have that been? Huh. Yeah, it's fair. Your answer is because they try to get other people over by putting them on the cover. Yeah, but like a lot of the 2000s games, Triple H was on the cover and he was already over. Or it was like Shawn Michaels on some of them. Like, like I, I, get, your, I get your point. They definitely do that in like the later games. But like the early 2000s and stuff, it was like, like Triple H was always on the cover. He was, he was already made. Why'd you do this? This man can default please take over. Brock I get, because Brock is like still coming up, so no reason for him not to be on the cover. That helps him. He was the big thing. Oh. So disappointed in that loss. I might skip this triple threat. Because again, this is our this is our last day playing SmackDown 2, and this is the last run for Dean Green. So we might skip some of these little smaller matches uh, to get to the Royal Rumble or, or to get to that rematch because the win-losses don't make too big a difference. Oh, Kim Wrestling made me dab. Boom. Before that was Rock because they were making him the guy, but Brock pretty much already was the guy at that point. He was already a main eventer, multiple-time champion at the time. AJ, what sauce do you eat your fries with? Like, if you could choose any sauce. Ah, uh, like the mayonnaise fry sauce. Like, we don't really have it here in America, but over there, like, if I choose to eat my fries or something, it's the mayonnaise that they offer. Is this a, is this a thing? Like, because so many people reacted to that, like, not happy they asked that question. Is that a thing with you guys? You guys talk about that a, a lot? All right, I'm going to skip this, because I don't, I don't give a shit. They're not worth my time. As far as I'm concerned, Dean Green's just going to walk out of the match. Or maybe he wins it. Well, he didn't lose, so 10 out of 10, don't give a shit. 
Just trying to get to that money match. There's a difference between being a main eventer and being the guy, AJ. Come on. But your Rock already was the guy. Like, 2001, 2002, the, like the, the, the errors we're talking about, the Rock was the guy. Already main evented a bunch of times. It was 1A, 1B. It was Stone Cold. It was The Rock. They were both the guy. And, like, by the time Stone Cold retired, Rock was already doing movies and already had a foot out the door. Like, they were the guy at the same exact time. <laughs> We're talking about this for the third time within like a week now. Oh my. Oh, main event. I'll I'll do that one. Get that get that win over the big Valvuski. Big old porn star. That one's worth my time. I just agree, but okay, Rock was big but not Stone Cold big in my opinion. But there's a difference. Within the wrestling community, Stone Cold was bigger. But within the world global spectrum, The Rock was a superstar. Hollywood, making all these guest appearances that Stone Cold was never doing. Like, they, like in popularity, within, like Stone Cold was the guy within wrestling. But, and also that's part of the reason they, they started SmackDown. Because you could have, that would be The Rock show. Raw would be Stone Cold show. Because again, they had two guys at the same time. Like, like... The rock, and again, I was watching during this time. Like this is, this is peak me, my introduction to wrestling. Like this is my generation of start. Like, The Rock was bigger globally, and it was a bigger recognizable name superstar than Stone Cold was. But within wrestling, Stone Cold was bigger. So it's one A, one B. That's not what I said, Dreamy Daddy. Shut up. You don't even get an opinion. Uh, So you become the guy by being a main eventer. I mean, that's that's part of it. Like that goes into it. But there's so much more than that. Being the guy. There's only been a few like the guys in history. Like John Cena, Hogan, The Rock, Stone Cold. Uh, uh, did you, did you're taking it out of context. Is, I'm saying something on a bigger scale. You don't get to say, Dreamy Daddy. You shush. But it's like it was literally like one A, one B. But Stone Cold created more of the boom within wrestling, created more eyes to wrestling in general, but in like as far as stardom, Rock was bigger. But yeah, it was literally like one A B but I still think it's odd that maybe because Stone Cold isn't like I don't know, like they don't find him as like appealing as a cover guy, right? Like he maybe he's not as easy to look at or something, you know, bald dude goatee, looking like a big old jacked up redneck rather than you have like the rock who people like swoon over. I don't know. I mean, yeah, like, making a full-on leave from wrestling did help. But even within wrestling, like, obviously, like, once you leave wrestling behind, which is a niche thing, go into Hollywood and grow within, obviously Rock's, like, a bigger star now or within the past couple of years than he ever was with wrestling. But, like, even within wrestling, like, he was becoming a global star and was, glo like, it, it's, a, it's a different beast entirely. Like, Rock's a bigger star now than he ever was in wrestling, right? Like, I don't think that could necessarily be argued. But... At the time, like, again, you had two different, two stars within the company. He's obviously a bigger star now globally. But at the time, like, Rock was a bigger star for people outside of wrestling, but knew him as a wrestler. And then Stone Cold was the wrestler. Right? If that makes, makes sense. If I explain that all right. But he definitely became a bigger star, bigger in stardom, became a bigger star after fully leaving wrestling. Like, there's no question about that. Fuck. Owns his own movie company. All the Fast and the Furious and all the different franchises he's been a part of by now. Like... Is his own tequila? <laughs> Chances the rock more like the cock. I know what you mean, but I just don't think it was that way. I mean, that's your opinion, but like, I, don't, I, I lived through it and watching it, that's how I saw it. And also, like, I'm a little partial, right? Like, for me, I wasn't a big Stone Cold guy. The Rock was my guy, uh, and like, same with my dad as well. Um, the wrestler was Mickey Works by to Julian. But, like, having, like, lived through it, and then, like, uh, and it, with The Rock being my guy, that's how I saw it. But also, like, I, I've, I've seen a lot of, like, things and retrospectives about it later that, like, share my point on it. But, again, my point is biased. But, like, Stone Cold was the bigger wrestling star, for sure. But, like, more, I think more global attention was on The Rock. But it's whatever. That's an opinion. 
I lived through it too. Didn't you just not start wrestling, watching wrestling until like 2005, 2006, that kind of thing? Like more Batista era stuff? Or even a little bit earlier than that? Like when Batista was a thing? Did it go from Rock to Cena or does Brock count because even though he was only around for two years? I don't think Brock, like I think Brock was in position to be the guy, but I don't think he necessarily was the guy until he came back later, right? Like I would say, like he was... He was the guy that they had, but I don't think he was the, the guy, you know? I think he was about to be, and then left. No, you dweeb, I started late 90s. I didn't know that. I didn't think he did. I didn't think he got it until later. Batista was a thing. He always will be a thing. What? Well, yeah, shut up, Julian. Now people are just trolling for being trolls and having an actual conversation, and then just being annoying. With all my heart doesn't mean I started with him. Gosh darn! <laughs> I mean, no, but I, that my opinion on that or my thought on that wasn't based off just solely Batista. Just our conversations about this stuff, because me and you barely ever talk about like 1999, 98, or 2000, 2001, like that that stuff. We, we hell, we talk more about territory stuff than we ever do about that era. Which is funny because that's the era of which we both started watching wrestling. Yeah, imagine talking about wrestling, says Dreamy Daddy. It's not hard to imagine. <laughs> yeah, because looking back on it, I don't like that time in wrestling much. Like, uh, fair. Like, it's weird. Like, the main events were hot fire, because, like, Triple H, Rock, Stone Cold, all that stuff, and the little twists and turns and everything they did around that. But, like, until, like, two. 2001, 2002, that's when the rest of the card, in my opinion, really, like, picked up and everything across the board started to get real solid. Uh, like, ni- like, 98, 99, even 2000 until you get to later 2000, it's kind of like, uh, the Rock and Stone Cold are fun, right? Like, and Triple H being cock diesel as fuck. Love, love me some 2000 trips. So going beat up Val Venus now. Oh, man, Leapfrog after ducking the clothesline? Like, man, I don't even know how this game processed that. What the fuck? What's Joe? Everybody's saying Jopey sauce, or however you pronounce it. What? What even is that? I don't know what that is. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong too. It's the goat, says Yuri. Come on. Anybody else just appreciate some good fry mayonnaise like me? No? Because I don't get I don't think I really got a response to that. Oh, just spam clotheslines. Oh, Kimonoku driver. Oh, I could have ended it right there, so let's do it again. Oh damn, too close. Flying knee. Come off another big clothesline. Man, I'm just destroying Val Venus. Dean Green is on a tear since losing the WWF title. Walked out on that triple threat match. At least that's the way I'm going to put it. Now just beating that ever-loving piss out of, of Val Venus. Hitting another Kimonoku driver. Oh, 
<laughs> oh man, you guys were right. They really were playing Fire Pro. Oh shit. Come on. Come on. Damn it. No. No. Hit it. Hit it. Oh no. 10% battery. Alright, pin. Gonna beat him the last time Stone Cold beat me. <sighs> I'm getting tired. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get a rematch for this before I before I have to call it. Which makes me think we might do one more SmackDown 2 stream before finishing it up. So at least Dean Green has a shot at redemption. So you feel like planning out streams around SmackDown 2 story mode is a little bit harder. I liked it because it's so unpredictable, but at the same time, there's no like definitive storylines going through, so it's kind of harder to plan around. I'm booked. In the stream I did for him, we ended the match with a special match, a landmine death match with you and Sabu, and you actually won, even if you walked like five times into the barbed wire. You know, you don't think it'd be that way, but it'd do. Oh, I'm not even booked. Love to see it. Firepro decided that you win, not me, AJ. Oh, I'll take it. They obviously know what's up. Oh, Christian's promoting Kurt Angle. Are you kidding? Man, stay in your lane, son. Also, I'm not going to lie. Does anybody else really like Kurt Angle's theme? Like, oh, every once in a while, it really pumps me up. AJ, did you see Amir's clip of you and him dancing? No, I didn't. You have to show me that. Jeremy Day says, what a shit language German is. Check Amr's Twitter. I'll have to do that. I feel like I'm saying his name right now too on a day I can't say anything oh, let's check it since I'm not booked <laughs> what is this As this is when he streamed me streaming it is. You ready? <laughs> oh my god. AJ. AJ. <laughs> AJ, I'm so Amazing. Retweeting this right now. I like Kirk Angel's theme where he sings about how he doesn't suck. <laughs> Only proves my. Uh, ooh, that should be hitting different. Just like the energy in this chat. So good. Kurt Angle is so entertaining. He could do everything. He could be the serious wrestler. 
he could be the big bright shining baby face he could he could do comedy he could make you hate him make you love him make you cry make you laugh man he had that awesome match him and Ronda versus Triple H and Stephanie imagine not sucking says Jenny yeah right what a dream the American dream bye Chino have a good one. Okay, I was like, yeah, I whooped that ass. Ch <laughs> I'm not kidding, AJ. I've watched so so much Kurt Angle stuff since my 21st birthday. He may be my new favorite wrestler of all time. He's great. He's fantastic. It's not a bad choice. I love how Chenny's pointing out, I think this is an international stream, and there's English, Dutch, and German going on in the chat. Love to see it. Except for the fact that I can uh, only read the English, and barely that, as I've, as I've shown. Oh, me versus Kurt Angle, hell yeah. All right, I think that's the match we're going to end this one on. It's me and Kurt Angle. We're going to make this final one of the stream, and then we're going to do one more SmackDown 2 stream to really finish it up. Try to get into that Royal Rumble, and and let Dean Green get one more shot before hanging it up. But but we're gonna we're gonna finish it with me versus Kurt Angle today. Look, they're even putting some hype behind it. Haley says this chat makes me feel like I'm glitching. Right, right. Imagine trying to like read it and be like, what are they talking about? Just can't. Ten out of ten can't. King of Coliseum one red after SmackDown two Kappa. What? Do not know what you mean by that, you just. Oh, also, guys, real quick, my uh, the June compilation will be up tomorrow, so look out for that. Do you, don't you know the King of Coliseum games? I do not, Uchis. I do not know those at all. I am not familiar. Oh, man. So close to this, this Kurt Angle match. Do you know Pokemon Coliseum? You're goddamn right to do. Pokemon Coliseum was bad ass. What a, dude, what a game for the time, too. Those big epic battles with your friends, all the different side stuff you could do. You could hook up your Game Boy games to it and play. Fuck. Pokemon Coliseum was baller. Man, maybe we'll look into playing that on the stream. Uh, wrestling game series only in Japan. Part one was split into King of Coliseum Red and Green with different promotions on each disc, and then uh, King of Coliseum Two. No, I've never heard of those. Huh? Oh, it's time, guys. The moment we've all been waiting for for the past three minutes. What about Final Fantasy? Uh, Final Fantasy will be coming. I still have to finish ten, and then we'll do ten two on the stream. That will be a thing. Although I feel like that's going to be long. That's going to be a long game to play on stream.
but we'll give it a go. Final Fantasy X-2 is greater than Final Fantasy X, says you chess. Let's go. Let's go. What is with all the German and Dutch? What are you guys doing? Oh, let's get let's beat up on old America boy. Oh. Verse. Oh, right into a dragon sleeper. What a what a combo. them around no fancy suplexes nothing like that just grab them by the throat send them across the ring a little bump and feed with the bitch toss yeah pick them up there we go domination oh you thought you were done no here's another one and another one send olympia boy out of the ring what are you bragging about just got your dick knocked off Oh, sweet belly to belly. Oh, where are you going? Damn it. Fucking. No, 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 no. Ah. Oh. Nice suplex rollover. I haven't seen that in the game before, honestly. Watch out for this DDT. Watch that neck, Kurt. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. oh, this is why Kurt has neck problems. I'm going to beat him in two minutes. 201. Give me that title. Give me that title. Brinkley says Kurt with a D Lo Brown taunt. Man, look at that sweet, sweet shit. Let me check something real quick. What did I do? Sorry, guys, I might have goofed on something. There we go. Uh, but that's because my heart goes out to another man. I can't be having these distractions. Do my tweet actually brought up people? Hell yeah, hell yeah. Thank you, Kim. I like how randomly you guys switch back to English. Very strange. Made me hella uncomfortable. All right, guys, after this four, we're going to call for the day. We'll do one more SmackDown stream next week, and that'll be it for the SmackDown 2. We'll give Dean Green one more final chance.
to reclaim his glory. I'll save and exit. Uh, oh God. Never mind. I think I'm just going to demod Dreamy Daddy and Yearn so that way I can uh, that way I can time them out when needed. Uh, save the data, yes. But thank you guys, everybody, for joining today. Appreciate it. Who's going to make polls for you then, AJ? That's a good point. That's a good point. Yearn seems to be the only one to know how to do that. I'll take off the timeouts. Chenny, you can't you can't take off the timeouts of which I institute. Do you think you you as a mod have that much power? Uh Demon Daddy and Yearn make him wrestling a triple mod. <laughs> uh by the way, thank you so much for joining today. Thanks for everybody coming and vibing. 